Hi everyone, this is Dominic Daughtry, and this video is going to be dedicated to uh, uh, making a submittal comment or markup summary list. And with Bluebeam, it actually makes it extremely easy. Uh, it will actually create a uh, hyperlinked summary of all comments and markups made by the design team and I'm using it on every single submittal at my project at Cal State Channel Islands and it is working out great. I've actually gotten feedback from multiple subcontractors who appreciate it and really like having every single comment listed out or you know in an orderly fashion it's hyperlinked to the actual page gives all the details on who put, who put it on there uh, when they put it on there uh, exactly what it says and it's just a great way to organize all the comments so upon uh, some you know revise and resubmit or approved as noted all those as noted or revise and resubmit comments are uh, taken into account so I'm going to get right into it and show you how to do it. So right here I've got a, a sheet metal flashing and trim submittal. And you can see down here it's got, in the markups list, it's got multiple comments uh, by the design team. Jay Carrillo, that's my architect. And all you have to do is go down to the markups list and you hit summary and you'll do a PDF summary. And make sure it uh, appends to current PDF, make sure that box is clicked. Create hyperlinks, make sure that's clicked. And you can title it anything. And usually what I'll do is this is uh, uh, approved as noted or exceptions noted. So I'm going to say exceptions noted submittal comment summary. And I'm going to press OK. And it is going to take every comment and it's creating a uh, consolidated list uh, with all the, uh, all the information associated with the, com with the markups and comments. And it is creating these hyperlinks and it's putting it at the very end of my submittal. What I like to do is I will press, uh, you know, with the very first page of the summary and press Shift and hit that. And I will drag it up right to uh, the right behind my submittal transmittal sheet. Uh, so it is the first thing that the subcontractor uh, will actually be able to uh, review. So I'm throwing it up to the very uh, front. And you can see how quickly I actually made this summary. And then we can actually start looking at what it's produced. You can see. Uh, you know, right after the cover sheet or the transmittal sheet, it has exceptions noted, submittal comment summary. It has the note. It has uh, the subject, either a text box. It says the exact page of the submittal, who authored the comment. It has the date and time, and it shows the color. Uh, you can go to any one of these, and it will take you exactly to that location. Uh, it makes it super easy to review uh, everything that was commented on by the design team. Uh, like I said, there are multiple subcontractor, subcontractors on my job that absolutely love this and they appreciate it. And I would say that it would actually give a more accurate uh, uh, review of all submittals uh, for your subcontractors. So. I'd love to hear more about what people uh, are, are doing associated with this. So try it out on your project. Uh, love to hear success, uh, improvements on it. Uh, hope, hope everybody enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thanks.